My name is Claire Eagle. I'm the Executive Director of the New Hampshire Civil Liberties Union. And when I first saw the title of this bill, I thought, uh, a bill I can go in and support. Not so much. <laughs> um, the, the first reaction I had when I read the, ball, uh, the bill was, what does this do to the stalking laws and to harm by intimidation? And I, that raised a, a red flag with me. I don't know the answer. Um, I suspect the people on this committee will find out. Um, the members of this committee know that I support the decriminalization of a lot of things that I believe to be victim, victimless crimes. Among them, marijuana, prostitution, adultery, other drugs, and hemp. That even takes hemp. I would like to see all of those removed from the criminal statutes. But the description by the supporters of this bill is that a victimless crime is a crime that has not harmed another person. In my view, laws are passed to prevent harm. It does no good to have laws that punish after an individual is harmed. And an example, DWI is a perfect example. If you say someone who drives drunk and doesn't crash, that that is a victimless crime, then the numbers of people hurt and killed by drunk drivers is going to skyrocket because there will be many more people driving drunk. I don't think that ought to be under the definition of a, of a victimless crime. Speeding is exactly the same. You're going 100 miles an hour, up or down 93 or 89. Eventually, you're going to kill someone. And the fact is, unless you do, you are being arrested for a victimless crime. There are also, I think, unintended consequences with this bill. That's my favorite thing to look for because it's always such fun. And the, the recent Supreme Court decision in Citizens United established that corporations are people too. So a person is not just the people in this room. A person is now a corporation as well. And I would remind you, and I'll, it'll only take 30 seconds, I would remind you of the history of marijuana, which was legal until 37. And the reason it was made criminal in 37 was because the liquor industry lost three and a half million couples, uh, uh, customers to the pot industry while liquor was illegal. And so they made reefer madness and the Congress passed it. The fact is, a corporation is a person who could suffer direct financial harm from almost anything. Competition, putting another store on the block, that is a person who would suffer direct financial harm under the, under the circumstances of this law. Madam Chair, as I said, I thought I was going to come in here and, and support this bill, and regrettably, I do not. I think that laws that protect us from harm are the laws that keep us a civil society if we don't have them. I fear for our future. And I thank you, Madam Chair, for the opportunity to speak. Thank you. Are there any questions? No. Any written testimony? <laughs>